welcome to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be talking about birth control and the birth control that I'm gonna be talking about is Nexplanon Nexplanon I think I'm pronouncing it right but um, that is the birth control that I'm currently on and I'm gonna be letting you guys know my experience with this birth control but first I'm going to be talking about what is Nexplanon and their side effects how do they put it in, on in how do they insert it and um yeah so if you clicked on this video it's because you're either looking into getting this birth control or because you already have it so what is next one on it is a small rod or tube that they insert underneath the skin of your upper arm to prevent pregnancy it lasts up to three years and of course you can remove it before the three years or you can you know have it for three years and then replace it with another one so how do they insert it so the way that they do it is they numb this area this is where I have it you can actually feel it they numb this area they put a needle and the most painful part about it to be honest was the numb the numbing medicine because whenever they, you feel it going into your arm it kind of like burns and it's such a painful experience but then after your arm is numb all you feel is like pressure of you know the tube being inserted it's not that part is not painful only the medicine like the shot the, the needle is the only painful part after that is inserted your arm is bruised for some time and it doesn't really it hurts a little bit but not so much afterwards but it is bruised and yeah that's pretty much it now the side effects i'm gonna be reading the side effects directly from their website and then i'm gonna you know talk about my experience and like the side effects that i experienced and all of that good stuff now on their website the first Thing that they list is change in the menstru menstrual bleeding pattern so a change in your period it can be longer or shorter bleeding during your period no bleeding at all spotting in between your periods vary amounts of time between your periods so like you it, it can affect you to the point where you wouldn't have uh, a period every single month it could be like every two months every three months like you don't really have an exact time so it's very amounts of time between your period then the other side effects it lists mood swings weight gain headaches acne and depressive mood then there's more hold on there's more other common side effects of being on Nexplanon and this is some of the things that they list here is things that I already mentioned but let's go down the list is headaches vaginitis I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but what it is, is inflammation of the area, your area. Weight gain, acne, breast pain, infections such as sore throats or flu-like symptoms, stomach pain, painful periods, mood swings, nervousness or depression mood, back pain, nausea, dizziness, pain, and pain at the sites of the insert insertion so you know pain here which I well let's get into that later <laughs> so yeah that is the side effects of next banana now on to my experience first I'm gonna talk about how I decided to get next banana then I'm gonna let you guys know like the side effects that I experienced and the reason why I want to take it off before I decided to get on next banana I really wasn't experienced too much like I didn't have a lot of knowledge on birth control at all to be honest I only knew about like next banana the pill and the shot and I've always been on the pill always been on the pill the pill has only been my, the always been the birth control that I've been on I didn't want to have to be taking a pill every single day because there was times that I would forget to take a pill so I just didn't want you know to forget my pill and then accidentally become pregnant and my sister had already been on Exponon before and I knew that it's something that goes on your arm and you don't have to worry about taking anything for three years I didn't do my research at all when it came to side effects and like what it does to your body, none of that. I did an appointment with a doctor, I told her that I wanted to switch my birth control to that and that was it. She did tell me some of the side effects, you know, with the change in the period, acne and stuff like that, but I still, you know, I still went and I, and I wanted to get that because I didn't want to take a pill anymore. So, I 
been having my next banan for over a year i i got it august of 2020 so it's been over a year and i don't like it <laughs> I do not like it and it's crazy because I didn't really it took me some time to see like that effects that was having on on me and my body it took me some time so I'm gonna you know I have my notes here to let you guys know the side effects and everything that I've been going through with it the first thing I've noticed right away was the change in my period now the first period that I had it lasted two weeks and it, and it came like the following month so like september and it lasts two weeks it was like a spotting that never wanted to stop it was just spotting 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 for two entire weeks after the first period it, it took me six months you guys six months after i that's when i got my second period and again it lasted two weeks spotting that never wanted to stop I, like i mentioned earlier i've had it for a, over a year and within that time, I've had my period for, I would say like, not even 10 times. Yeah, it had to be like maybe seven or eight times that I've had my period. I mean, I know cramping and having a period is kind of like, oh my God, but I still want a period. <laughs> I want to be prepared and I want to know when my period is coming. The next thing that I experience is acne. Now I've always had problems with my skin. I never had smooth, perfect skin. I've always had uh, blackheads or like whiteheads. But the minute that I changed a uh, birth control, my skin got worse. I have a lot of redness now, and it's like it just got it just keeps getting worse and worse. Now I do go to the dermatologist, and I was going to the dermatologist before I changed my birth control, so my skin was improving a some you know a little bit. But then I feel like after I changed my birth control, it's like. I never ending like there's always a pimple right around the corner so the second thing is mood swings that's the one of the latest things that I've noticed once I started doing my like research and I saw that that was included in the list I that's when I started paying attention and I'm like wow like I get irritated very very quickly and my moods just swings <laughs> At first, I was just like, oh, maybe that's just how I am. I'm a moody person. But I saw it on the side effects, and I'm like, wow, like I would like to see how I am without this birth control and affecting the way that, you know, my mood and how I am. Because another thing that I've experienced is depression. Now, I feel like I'll have like a good day, and then like all of a sudden later on, I'll be sad and depressed without knowing like what am I sad about and like again I just thought that that was me I thought that that's who I was changing to become but um, when I saw it in the list I was like you little bird control another thing that I experienced is breast pain they get sore often throughout the month uh, the other two things that I've noticed is weight gain and bloating I did notice change on my body when it comes to weight uh, after the birth control. So those are uh, some of the things that I've experienced and uh, for a year and a half now and that is the reason why I decided to remove my birth control. Now the one that I'm changing to is called Paragard and it's 100% hormone free and uh, it lasts up to 10 years. I feel like I could talk a lot about this topic but I hope, like I wrote down what I wanted to talk about. I just hope I don't forget anything but if, if I forgot to mention anything in this video feel free to comment down below your question and i'll be happy to answer it and yeah i will today we march today is march the 20th i will i have my appointment set up already for april the 6th when i will be removing this nightmare oh i'm so happy and scared at the same time but yeah that is it for this video again if i forgot to mention something or talk about anything Feel free to leave me a comment down below um, asking me your question. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and subscribe. And see you guys in my next video. Bye.